This track is about someone kind of special. I call it happy ending. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and in today's video I'm going to be continuing where we left off last week and showing you guys the rest of my stationery. So under the basket I showed you guys in last week's video I have this MacBook Air case where I keep my supplies. So here I just have like my sharpener and USB, a little notebook, I have my earphones, just a lot of miscellaneous supplies that I don't use as often. Here is a lead case where there's colorful lead kept in here for a pencil and I also have my wax seals. This is a bumblebee design and over here I have the wax to my wax seals as well as just some small trinkets and supplies like this mini pen and erasers and stuff like that. And in turning it around, I have this tape dispenser where I actually call this my post-it washi tape. It's basically just like a washi tape in post-it material. So you can actually write on it and label things, which is actually pretty cool. And then I have like this packet of stickies for my whiteboard in case I want to mount it anywhere. And a bunch of index cards. These are word cards that I use mainly for school, so I haven't been using them recently, so I just stored them in here. And moving on, I have my tapes. I actually have three types of tape. The first one is the duct tape. Then I have this medical tape that I accidentally took from the hospital and your regular transparent scotch tape. And lying under the tape, I usually keep like my sharpeners, my stamps, paper clips, pins inside this little circle where the charger of the MacBook Air actually used to go. And finally, on the corner, I keep a bunch of pens that I don't use at the moment, but they're just like a bunch of miscellaneous pens that I really have no place for. I have like these gel pens in different colors and Crayola markers. As you can tell, it's very random and other branded stationary so I don't really know what to call this but it's just stuff that I didn't want to throw out but I plan on keeping in case I need to use it for some reason um and that is all for this little case it's very random and not my favorite thing under my desk but as long as it carries all the essentials so this basket is full of literal stationary pens Every single um, pen that I own that I don't keep on my desk, basically. Here I have an unopened Zebra Sarasa milk gel pen pack because I'm a hoarder. And then I have a bunch of my liner cases. I have this really cool Zebra Pen limited edition like color gel mix thing going on. I'm not exactly sure what to call it. I've never really seen it before until I received it. Um, and then I have even more of my mild liners. This is the rare pack, which is not so rare anymore because I think they came out with another new pack. And just like, yeah, basically just zebra mild liners everywhere. As you guys already know, these are my favorite pens in the world. So I always have to keep extras because I always use them up. Then I have the zebra pen sarasa milk gel ink pens again um following up with a bunch of stationery that my mother bought me from the philippines a couple of months ago when she went and yes i'm half filipino these are from the philippines these are gel ink pens and then i have these faber castell pen packs i have quite a few faber castell packs in this basket because I worked with them at one point and they have really nice pens so I recommend you check them out but that is it for the front I decided to put them back right after so I don't make a mess because I tend to do that a lot when it comes to videos like this and it's just a whole mess all right so turning this baby around now we have these two cases the first one is a unipropis case where it's supposed to be keeping highlighters but i put my favorite castell pens and markers in here and another zebra mod liner case except this is actually the zebra mod liner brush pens same colors as the mod liners except 
with a brush pen so that's pretty cool um, and then over here I have this Baron Fig red pen used for annotating editing and fixing grammar mistakes and stuff like that Then I have this Pilot Juice Case with Stabilo highlighters. As you can tell, I'm a big fan of reusing and keeping a lot of my cases, so I just have that. And behind it, I have this Airless Pen Leather Wrapping Case where I have even more pens except this is like a more of a marker felt tip pen and it's retractable. So I have those in a few colors. So over here in this pink pencil case, I keep a lot of my brush pens in here that I don't have cases for, either because I threw them out or I lost them, but essentially it carries like my Tombow brush pens, my Fabry color brush pens, which is like an off-brand kind of thing, and a lot of my Kelly Creates brush pen, my metallic brush pens, Faber-Castell brush pens. These are just some of the brands that I have but there is so much more in here so i just take everything and shove them in here if they're brush pens and then over here this is a brush pen case full of dual tip brush pens and a lot of primary colors so these actually have a place so i don't put them in the pencil case i actually kept the case thank god because it would have been overflowing and then here i have another case of brush pens these are the arteza brush pens these are different because they are actually like real brush pens with individual brushes and then i have these markers in this octagon shaped case i don't really use these as often and i have no idea why i have them so finally reaching the last side of the basket here i have the limited edition my liners where there are like really cute cartoon style designs on here like there's hello kitty and Gudetama, so I really admire these for the characters and I'm really scared to use them too because I really want to kind of just conserve it but I have these in these really special packs and then next to it I have another favorite Castell product this is called the essential planner pack where it's just like a bunch of pens and colored pencils as well as this little outlining plaque kit kind of thing but i don't really use this either it's just there but that is all for this basket and last definitely not least we have the purple basket which keeps all of my stickers i store my stickers in these like little envelopes because that's like the best way that i can organize them but all the way in the back I have like miscellaneous items that I don't keep in an envelope because there is absolutely no space. So here I keep like journaling items and photo cards or um, these paint samples. And then I have like this little sticker envelope with a bunch of stickers stored in different pockets. This is actually part of like a subscription company called Sticky Club and I happen to have one of their stickers. So that's pretty cool I guess. These are like really summery and really like outgoing and bright stickers and then i have this holographic folder there are a bunch of these folders there are like two more back in the basket i think but i organize them by like the kind of stickers they are so in this pocket i keep my transparent stickers these are like the transparent stickers that are kind of like 3d and you can feel the texture and it isolates from the paper. I don't know how to describe it, but it's just this certain transparent sticker and I have a bunch of these, so I just put them in here and these are the types you'd put on like your laptop and like the waterproof types, so that's pretty cool. So in this folder, it's a continuation of the last folder because I couldn't fit everything in that folder, so I just have even more transparent stickers with that really cool texture and 
muted colors and over here i have another holographic folder these are also transparent and the same type except i isolated them only because of the designs that they are mainly focused around these are more like pink and outgoing very bright summery and overall designs that i won't, don't really use in my bullet journal these are just the designs that i would use to decorate items and i don't have a lot of items so i isolate them based on what i would use them for here i have like gudetama and like rilakkuma i don't know if i'm pronouncing that right and a lot of like as you can tell like these raindrop stickers it's just very summery and bright and not my cup of tea when it comes to decorating my bullet journal so i make sure to keep that in a separate folder and then over here i have the transparent ones except they have like a white background and they're a bit smaller I would mostly use these in my planners so I like to like decorate the edges with these and these are like stuff that I use a little bit more frequently so I have a separate folder for these So I just pulled out a sticker sheet with those iconic fashion girl stickers. These don't fit in any of the folders I have, so I just put it in itself alone in the basket. And then in here I have a lot of bullet journaling and scrapbooking designs and scraps and stuff like that. Like these stickers that I printed out from the internet, some of the museum tickets that I got from visiting museums, and just a bunch of like postcards and design paper that I can use in scraps and try to make my pieces look very artistic. I also keep art prints in here. So this particular art print is from my friend's shop, Harvey Art. I'm actually a ambassador of the shop, so I'll link it down below for you guys to check out. And here are the rest of the holographic folders where I keep a lot of my stickers. This first holographic folder actually is where all my sticker flakes are. So if the sticker comes in die cut and in a little package, this is the folder that it's going in. It doesn't matter how I use it, where I use it, whether I use it a lot or not, as long as it is a flake and has its own separate packaging, then I just put it in here. This is great and a perfect way for me to finally like distinguish between my stickers and whatnot. And then in this little holographic folder, I keep my sticker sheets that aren't transparent. These are matte and has a white background. So I have like a lot of my planner stickers and designed stickers. These are the stickers that I don't use as often, but I still go to them once in a while to check if I could use any of these for my bullet journal and stuff like that. So these are the last of the holographic folders and I'm just putting everything back so I don't make a bigger mess. But moving on to the next thing, I have this Repesco folder that's like a little button flap and here I keep my Paper Dolls Co stickers. I have quite a lot of these so I had to dedicate a whole folder full of them. Then over here I just have even more stickers. These are like planner stickers and stickers that come from a certain company. I forgot what the company was called but they sell like Japan themed stationery. But this is also another miscellaneous pocket folder. I have no idea what I was thinking when I organized this certain folder. But now moving on to this little package, I have a lot of my matte stickers that aren't transparent. These have a white or craft paper background. And these are the stickers that I go to first when I'm trying to incorporate some stickers and design pieces in my bullet journal this is like my go-to stickers i'm in love with these i will literally use all of them up in one go as you can tell i used a lot of them up already so i keep that there and that is the sticker basket there are a lot of miscellaneous and different stickers going on and um i keep that under the locker shelf and then I have these two stationary cases, my mason jar, with a lot of my colored brush pens, pencil food touch pens, and then I have my whiteboard pens in this acrylic case. So that is all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to watch part one. I will link it down below or put it in like the information box. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video, hopefully. Bye guys.